I am Anil Kumar and I hope you can do this question on your own. We are looking for multiples of 4 and 6 and the question is sort these numbers in the Venn diagram 12, 18, 24, 30, 46, 52, 81, 96, 100 and 120. You need to write multiples of 4 and multiples of 6 with this Venn diagram. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now 12, 12 is a multiple of 4, 4 times 3 is 12, is 12 a multiple of 6? Also 6 times 2 is 12. So it is a common multiple, it will have a place right there, which is common to both 4 and 6, right? Now let's look into 18. 18 is multiple of 6, 6 times 3 is 18 but not a multiple of 4. So 18 goes on this side. 24. 6 times 4 is 24. So 24 is a common multiple. It will come in the center. 30. 6 times 5 is 30. And 30 is not a multiple of 4. So 30 will get on the right side. 46. 46. 6 times 7 is 42 and 8 is 48. Well, so it doesn't go. As far as 4 is concerned, 4 times 1 is 4 and then you're left with 6. It cannot be divided. So where will that go? Hmm. It should come outside. So we have to write it outside, right? It is not a multiple of 4 or 6. So you have to write it outside. 52. 52, 4 times 1 is 4 and then 12, 13, right? So 4 times 13 is 52. It is a multiple of 4. But is it a multiple of 6 or not? How can we figure out? Well, it's an even number. So possibility is there. 6 is 2 times 3. Remember that. But can you divide 52 by 3? 5 plus 2 is 7. You cannot. So it is just a multiple of 4, not of 6. So it comes on the left side with multiples of 4. 81. Now 81 is odd number so therefore it is not a multiple of 4 or 6. So 81 will come outside. 96. 4 times 2 is 8 and then 4 16. So it is a multiple of 4. How about 6? Now 9 plus 6 is 15. So it can go by 3 also. It's an even number. So it's a common multiple it comes right in the center. I hope you understand the strategy which I am using, right? 6 is basically product of 2 and 3. It is 2 times 3, correct? So multiples of 6 will be even and they should be divisible by 3. That means when you add them, then the number should be divisible by 3, okay? Let's take 100. 1 cannot be divided by 3, so it is not a multiple of 6, but it is a multiple of 4. 4 quarters, right? So 100 comes here, 120. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 can be divided. And 20 goes 5 times with 4. So it is perfect. 120 comes right there. So that is how we can place all these multiples. Now as an exercise, I would like you to place one number here. A number which is a multiple of 4 but not of 6. A number here. A number which is a multiple of both 4 and 6. A number here which is a multiple of 6 but not of 4. And a number outside which is not a multiple of 4 or 6. Okay, so that is your exercise. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.